And now on YTV, get that pen and paper ready for another delicious recipe from the Home Cookery Club. Today's recipe in the Home Cookery Club comes from Mrs. Shepherd in Dorset. We tried it out, and this is the result. Rich Bakewell tart. That looks gorgeous. She noticed you liked almonds. Ah, clever lady. How's it made? Very simply, in fact, and it's an interesting use of two sorts of flour. In the same recipe? Mm. First we make the pastry base, and for this we use plain flour to give a short, crispy result. Yes, I see. There, that's just right. A pinch of salt? Yes, and a tablespoon of caster sugar. Now some good British butter. About half the weight of the flour. That butter's a bit hard. Oh yes, for good pastry making, everything should be quite cool. Simply cut the butter into the flour, then, when it's quite small... Flowery fingers? <laughs> I prefer to do it the traditional way. It's so relaxing. And this is what we're going to bake it in. Oh, the base is separate. You'll see why in a tick. Oh, would you go to the fridge, please, and take out that little pot with yesterday's egg yolk? I remember you covered it with a little water to keep it fresh. That's right. Now, when the butter and flour have been rubbed together, add an egg yolk with about a tablespoon of water and mix to a smooth, firm dough. Then roll it out, Put it in the base of the flan tin. That's neat. And then you bake it blind in a hot oven. Oh, no, you don't. Mrs. Shepherd's recipe really is simple. Spread a little apricot jam on the base. And then chopped mixed peel. And would you put it in the fridge to keep cool, please? Of course. While I make the almondy bakewell filling. Oh, good. A little more butter, and that needn't be cool. Uh, then some caster sugar. And would you cream those together till they're really smooth? Yes, ma'am. And now we use the second flour, self-raising, to make our filling really light and fluffy. But first an egg? Exactly. With just a little of the measured flour. And then we're going to fold in the rest... Along with the ground almonds. This needn't be beaten, just lightly folded. And then spread evenly over the pastry base. Sprinkled with my, mm, flaked almonds. And now put in the hot oven. Mm. For how long? About 30 minutes until firm and golden. Let's hear what Mrs. Shepherd used. Six ounces of plain flour, a pinch of salt and a tablespoon of caster sugar. Three ounces of British butter. And one egg yolk with a little water. Then two spoons of apricot jam, some chopped mixed peel, two more ounces of British butter and caster sugar. One whole egg and two ounces of self-raising flour. With two ounces of ground almonds and one of flaked. But that was rather quick, so why not write in for the recipe? Send a large stamped self-addressed envelope to... The Home Cookery Club. P.O. Box 690, London, SW1P, 4AZ. Right, here we are. All golden, light and crunchy. Oh, that's clever. That's why you use a tin with a separate base. Mrs. Shepherd's Rich Bakewell Tart. Delicious. Try some? As if I'd ever refuse in the Home Cookery Club. Yeah.